We're living like Larry. We're flying. <laughs> but not to die because we're living like Larry. I love how he started with bullshit. I'm ready to get this bullshit started. <laughs> hey, where was the bomb bomb? I, I, <laughs> it's too late for the bomb bomb. Uh, bomb bomb. Uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, so, you know, in, in the life of our friend Mark Minicello lately, he, he just started a full time job. You know, he's fucking. <laughs> This is already so bad. <laughs> what? He's a real he's a real man now. Um, but he hasn't been able to, to socialize as much as he used to. So we we decided that to, to help him socialize, we were gonna have an interview where where Mark could just just talk to someone, ask some questions, and, and have a nice nice dialogue. So uh, so so Mark, I'll let you take over from here. Um, hey Natalie, how's it going? Good. All right, I got some basic questions here. Uh, where do you live? <laughs> <laughs> Can I give some critiques? What? That's your first question. <laughs> All right. <laughs> big group there. That was a test, and you all passed. <laughs> all right. Second question: What is your take on garden gnomes? Um, I actually have one in my backyard. So like. Not creepy, creepy. Well, I mean, I don't, I mean, it's kind of cute, but. Okay, okay. Second question, kind of related to the garden gnomes. Um, if you were approached late at night by a penguin wearing a sombrero, <laughs> what would be the first reason you have for how and why that penguin was wearing a sombrero? <laughs> what are these questions? <laughs> I like them. He was at, um, Taco Bell, and... Mm. Some yeah, guy dressed in a rat costume gave it to him. All right, it's all right. creative. I, I like it. That. I can see that. Um, he painted a picture in my head. How would you describe yourself with three words? Um, good at bed wars on the high. Ooh, that's important. That's important. <laughs> that's more than three words. <laughs> um, yeah. All right, but I all approve. Right. So, would you say that you, your personality is based around being good at bed wars on the hive? Yeah. If I'm not mistaken, the game we played against you, you lost. I never played against you. Uh, oh my god, no, you totally did. That's how we. <laughs> no, 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 no. That that was that was Tweaky Buckle. That was not me. Oh, okay. So, are you better than Tweaky Buckle? Yeah, he's really bad. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, they didn't Sorry, do Mark, a whole I'll, lot. I'll let, you, I'll let you take that. No, this, I, this I just need to really ask him some follow-up questions. Nope, Mark, right. it's your turn. You've been given an elephant. You can't give it away, abandon it, or sell it. What do you do with the elephant? Can she the kill it? The new pet. <laughs> Alright, first of all, EJ, that's just fucking horrific. Alright, no, how would you take care of this pet? Yeah, I, I want to know the logistics of this, because I, I feel like it's, it's great to say you'd have it as a pet, but realistically, could that They're happen? They're huge. They're enormous. Where are you going to put all this shit? Mm, I'm sorry, Natalie, I, I didn't mean to step on your toes. A, like a barn for it or something. For, for the shit or for the elephant? <laughs> have one for each. Wait, Mark, can you sell the shit? I don't fucking know. Do you want to fertilize? I, that's another whole thing. That's another interview. I think okay. we, um, we could dogs. sell it for reasonable profit. But, but all what, all do, do we even know what, like, what do elephants eat? Um, like hay? And it? Cellulose. Oh my god. <laughs> um, Alright, nope, just moving on from the head. <laughs> moving on, next question. Okay, we'll, go, we'll try and do something more personable. What is one of your favorite memories from growing up? <clears throat> Probably... Um, starting playing Bed Wars for the first time. That was pretty fun. Nice, nice. Can you tell us more about that? Um, I would play with my dad, and oh, <laughs> yeah. Is was your dad good at bed wars? Um, like not, no, not really. He was okay. Was he better than Mark? I I feel like if if my dad tried to play bed wars, he I, I don't even know if he would get off the spawn island. Yeah. And Mark yeah, barely gets to... off the spawn island. <laughs> um, would you say you're a dog or a cat person? Dogs. Correct answer. 
Okay. What, uh, what kind of like? What species of dog is your favorite? Species. <laughs> you know, they're all the same um, species. I don't know. They're like Fox Pokemon. Okay. Okay. The golden human breed. I think you talked right over her answer. He, I, she said labs sorry. are golden. Mark was insulting me. That is true. Uh, that's my job. I'm sorry, sir. How many years have you been playing Minecraft? Um, I played on my iPad when I was like. 10, I guess. And then I switched to like the hive in like seventh grade. Actually, probably like eighth, maybe. What would you say have been the best and worst changes to Minecraft over the years? Um, I actually I like the Nether update a lot. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is that the one that like just happened? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna be completely honest. I have not played Minecraft past like 1.12. Ooh, oof. Not uh, not doing research for the interview, Sam. No, no. Um, what 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 about the Nether update? Do you like though? Because I I genuinely do not know anything about the update or what happened. So could you could you describe it for us? It's like harder, but I like how there's like new biomes. I guess. Mm -hmm. Aren't there also like pigs that you can trade with? Yeah. Yeah. I like that. I like that. I like being able to trade with the pigs. I have known a lot of pigs in real life that do like trading. So There's also it's better armor. Um, Sorry, Smuckles, were you going to say something? I said there's also better armor. As what, does that have to do, what does that have to do with the nether? It's, you get, uh, you get it, the stuff from the nether. Oh. No. Please don't speak if you haven't uh, versed yourself in the latest update. Okay, okay, you did describe the latest update to me then, big boy. No, 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 EJ's not being interviewed here. Thank you. Um, look, okay, no, 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 I, I need to go back to that. Cause, cause, no, no, look, okay, look, we, we have eight minutes left. We got eight minutes. All right, go. Natalie. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but can we go back to that? Nope. All right, we can circle back to that, yes. Okay, okay, cool. Um, nope. Natalie, what is a realistic, what is your realistic dream job? A stripper. That is very realistic. Thank you. I was gonna say that that's realistic. Does that have anything to do with our uh, research in strip clubs the other night? No, I wanted to do it for a while. I feel like huh. we gave you a lot of good information then in terms of strip club statistics last night. There was a lot of talk about food. Well, as soon as you get in there, the first thing you gotta do is convince them to fix the menu. That's the big thing. No one wants to go to a strip club with a fucked up menu. Yeah. Yeah, no, um, I'm hungry. Wait, wait, no, I feel like we could ex we could explore that a bit a bit more, Mark. Okay, if you want to ask some right. follow up questions there? Go ahead, follow up. Oh, I was I was I was giving it to you. Oh, to me. Um, yeah. what motivated you to want to become a stripper? <clears throat> um, I feel like you get like a lot of money from it. Perfect. Mm -hmm. okay. Um. How much research have you done besides listening to the people in this call regarding strippers? Um, not a lot. Okay, okay. Um, what would you say is your spirit animal? Um, <clears throat> like a sloth or something. Oh, I imagine a sloth would make a good stripper. Would you <laughs> consider a stripper to be a spirit animal? Yeah. No. But, okay. I heard a yes. Sure. I heard a yes. yes. I yes. did hear a yes. Yes is the answer. All right. Yes is the answer. Oh. Look at that. All so right. Like we're gonna... are technically animals, and strippers are technically humans. Yeah. Technicality's in my favorite. <laughs> um, what was it we were circling back to again? Oh uh, no no we're we're circling uh, forward, Mark. This is this is a circle that only goes forward. Okay. Um, what is your favorite shape? <laughs> um, a square. I know a square. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> what is your favorite yeah. food to make or and or eat? Ramen. Ramen's mm. good. Did you um, uh, did you by any chance Google like the top questions to ask someone who you just met or something like that? No. Why? I I'm just curious on where you got these questions from. Man, I was so proud of that penguin question. How dare you? <laughs> Um, we have five minutes, by the way. 
<sighs> Five minutes. All right. What's your favorite book? Um, I hate reading. Agreed. I respect Ooh. that. I respect Ooh. that a lot. I don't know about that. All right. Okay. I like my strippers to be well read. I really don't like reading. I don't know if you get to choose that. I don't know if you can go into the strip club and like tell the bouncer, "Hey, like, I only want to see the strippers who can read." <laughs> That's why you go to the library when they hold strip <laughs> competitions. I think that would make a lot of a lot of money for like a county or a town. Because uh -huh. library is is own is a public institution, you know. Exactly. That's why they hold them there. Cool, cool. We'll, we'll put a pin in that for now. <laughs> All right. Um. Besides Minecraft, what's your favorite game to play? <clears throat> um, probably, okay, I literally only play Minecraft, but probably, like, Conquer maybe? I don't know. Okay. Um, what is the funniest thing that has happened to you recently? Um, meeting you guys. Perfect. That wow. is a great answer. That is such that a is wholesome a answer. answer. I like it. <laughs> that just made my day. Um... Definitely a uh, boost after we all got banned from a Minecraft server. <laughs> I was yeah, it's, okay. been, it's been a wild night. The getting banned is the boost. That's yeah. true. <laughs> I mean, look, for, for me tonight, I had a Minecraft wedding where I was the best man. Uh, I got banned from a server for 60 <laughs> days. And, and now we're interviewing Natalie. This is just, it's just been a great night. Um, Where do you want to travel to, real or fictional, but can't or haven't? Probably Harry Potter, like the castle thing. Hogwarts, yes. yes that, <laughs> I was waiting sounds... for Mark to say something. <laughs> Mark, 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 I uh, could tell Mark was Mark. just fuming. <laughs> yeah, Mark, Mark is a big Harry Potter fan. He just watches the Harry Potter movies just like in, in marathons for no reason. He likes to edit himself into the movies, but with these weird pseudo porn scenes, it's kind of weird. Didn't you also write Harry Potter fan fiction? Yeah, he did. Well, he did. Bunch, really bunch of sex. Here. Okay, yeah, yeah. You know, it's you just... remember that about Voldemort? Something about rape? I, yeah. I remember we talked about it. We got two and a half minutes, by the way. I think you're confusing topics, but we'll. <laughs> I we'll swear we talked about that. We'll I swear. <laughs> Do I have to review the old, uh, the old recordings? Um, right, Mark, one, one really great right. last question. One yeah, really Mark, great last question. I want, I want question. a hard hitting question. You know, I want something that's gonna make Natalie like think. Like a nice finale. Okay. Go. Um, what is something you've done, whether it be in Minecraft or real life, that you were ashamed of? Wait, what did you say? What is something you've done in real life and or Minecraft that you were ashamed of? Oh, when I was twelve, I think, maybe thirteen, I went on to like some like dating site thing kind of. And Ooh, what was the dating site? I I don't remember. I think it was Omegle probably. Okay. <laughs> And I took my mom's lingerie, <laughs> and I was just, like, stripping for these random, like, 20-year-olds. This is Thank a bad follow honesty. but did it, did it fit? No. <laughs> okay, okay. Once again, I admit that that is a bad follow-up question. Yeah, that, that's kind of sus, man. I, I, I was know just, you know, I was just curious, because that was the first thing that came to my mind. Did did these people on Omega like the show you put on, or were I mean, they? They did it back. So people on Omega are are very uh, you know, is, very into yeah. that sort of thing. Yeah, they are. So I, I was just curious. We got a minute Maybe left. We get some more people on Omega. I mean, honestly, I feel like Seth should record like an Omega video where he just strips on Omega for people. Mm, kind of disappointing. Bang I, I, never find, I never find people stripping on Omega. I can get on right now, and you can match with me if you want. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, okay. Down. Are we, are we doing uh, before that, um, so thank you for coming to the interview, Natalie. Are there any questions you have for any of us quickly? No. I mean, do you want to play Bad Boys later? I would love to. Okay. I will be going to bed right after this. Bed Wars. Exactly, Mark. Well, you can only have four players, so Mark leaving wouldn't be a problem. <laughs> thank you, Seth. Charming as ever. <laughs> We have 15 seconds. Yeah, Seth yeah. also talks a lot of shit about your bed war skills, Mark. This last bit is just going on forever. It has, it has. <laughs> yeah, I can auto-bridge faster than him. 
You, <laughs> Bart, you can't regular bridge. You make like you make it like three blocks and fall I off. Say I could regular bridge. And we're out of time. <laughs>